Before we can try the SAP Fury tools, we will need a Fury Elements application. So let's go ahead and create one with the template generator. Find command, create project from template. Let's select Fury Elements application. Next. Let's choose the work list. Click next. Select our data source, SAP system, select the system, and select our, our data service. Click next, select the main entity, give our module a name, let's give our application a name. And let's fill in a namespace. Next. So while our template is loading up here, let me take a minute to explain what the SAP Fury tools are. They are basically tools that allow us to simplify the development of Fury Elements applications by providing extensions. These extensions help us create our applications, visualize navigation, and automatically generate code. A few examples are the Fury Elements Yeoman generator, the application modeler and the guided development. The guided development is the one I want to try first with you guys. So as soon as our template is done loading, let's go and check it out. Okay, so our project has been generated. Let's go and start the run configuration. Select our app, hit the play button and click on run module. Okay, our app is running in the browser. Let's go try it out. Click on the test folder, FLP sandbox. Click our app. Now, since our app has no annotations, we're going to have to manually select the columns we want to view. Let's select company code and company name. Okay. And great, there's our data. Now we have our Fury Elements app, let's try to add some annotations with the guided development. But before we jump in, let me quickly explain what it is. It's basically like the software development kit for Fury Elements annotations, and it's integrated within BAS. So this is nice to have, because prior to BAS there really was no good way of looking these annotations up. Not only can we look them up now, the guided development will generate usable code for us and provide some input help as well. So let's go check it out. Let's right click on our project and select open guided development. Let's search for add column in the search bar here. All right, add a new column to a table. Let's see what it, this is. So this is the input help I was talking about. The guided development will help us determine an entity type, navigation path and property. Let's go with comp code, click apply. And, uh-oh, we ran into an error. Cannot read property term of undefined. So we're getting this error because as of now, the guided development will only add to existing annotations. So annotations coming from the back end. Hopefully they will change this in the near future, but uh, don't worry. For now, we can just add one manually by using this handy dandy code snippet. Let's select it, copy. Let's open our annotations XML, manually paste it in here, then let's format document, and now let's head on back to the guided development, search for add column, and we're back. So let's try this one more time. Entity type, company code, select a property, comp name, and apply. So there's our code snippet added to the annotations. 
and it says guide step applied. Now let's restart our app to see if the annotations added the columns. Let's click the test folder, FLP sandbox, click our app, and surely enough they did. Okay, so that works great. I really like how easy it is to add annotations with the guided development. Let's add another one. How about this one? Add a new filter field to the smart filter bar. Alright, looks good. Let's scroll down. And again, choose an entity type and a property. And there's our code snippet. Click apply. And there you go, it adds it to the annotation XML. Beautiful. So what happens if you can't find the annotation you're looking for? Let's go back to the guided development and search for bold. So no results except for request new guide. Here you have the option to describe what you're looking for and request a new guide from SAP. So this is a pretty neat idea, and I think it will be cool to just see a huge amount of guides in the future.